Well, we know vacation season is coming up, and you might be looking for a good novel to take along with you. Well, how about a just-released book that asks you to consider, among other things, how truthful is history? In our fate, is that destiny or just random events? Oh, the author of that book, The Blue Hair and Gene Farrington, professor at Notre Dame University of Maryland, is with us to answer those and some other questions. Gene, welcome. Thanks for having me, Tony. And full disclosure, Gene, a former advisor at Notre Dame with me. It was nice working with you, and I knew this book was a long time coming. How long for this blue novel to get to the publisher? Uh, go back to the 80s. <laughs> back to the 80s. So when people hear of novels, especially in this case, you took a lot. There's research, there's history, there's everything in this book. And it was a transformation. It started out as just a historical novel. A historical novel, but in here you're also making us question, uh, maybe there is some fiction to history because we weren't there. Tell us about how that works. Well, none of us were there, I guess. <laughs> maybe me, because yeah. I'm old enough. But uh, the point is, um, we get to hear whose history gets to be told. And here we get um, a variety of versions, but one version is by Opakanakana, who is the brother of Powhatan, and um, according to historians, he was taken back to Spain uh, when he was 15 years old and um, was raised, or in those formative years, learned to speak Spanish, learned a lot about the white men, and then comes back. Mm -hmm. And then we see his story. So now we go from, from chapter to chapter. You're dealing in the present, a couple of people on the computer doing TTY, I'll talk to you later, but then we're in the next doing back in history in Jamestown. Uh, tell us about to fate. We say, are these random things that are just happening to us or do folks believe in destiny? You want them to think about that too? Well, I do and at the same time, strange things happen. I, um, for instance, the son, the oldest son of King James was um, Prince Arthur. Who the hell ever heard of Prince Arthur, right? So suddenly um, in exploring this, I realized history would have been completely changed had he lived. He died as a teenager. He was everything his father wasn't. Um, he was um, very grounded. His father's court was uh, in disarray and uh, dissipated. And so had he not lived, or had he lived, there might not have been a civil war because Charles never would have come to the throne and wow. history might have been changed drastically. So you're also saying words are a very big important uh, part that we should consider. Words make up a lot of things in history and how we attribute meaning to our life. Right. And also, can we exist without words? And I'm exploring that also in this novel because it's not just the historical figures that are defined by words, but we, the current people in this book as well, are defined by words, so. Well, we thank you for all the words. By the way, the, I didn't count them, but there's nearly 600 pages, so at maybe four cents a page, it's a pretty good bargain, I guess. I, guess <laughs> it, I never thought of it that way. 600 page <laughs> novel, and by the way, you're 82, so you have another novel left in you? I do, in fact, I'm working <laughs> on one now, so. And you're heading to Ireland. Well, thank you, Gene, yeah. it's been a pleasure. It is the Blue Heron, and we have a website that uh, is linked to uh, the Blue Heron and Water Street Press.